Christian Camwe here with a quick video proof of concept tethering on the Entourage Edge. Um, basically it's real simple. Uh, we'll be making a front end soon. Well I will and then uh, hopefully be adding it to J Case's upcoming custom firmware. Um, you need root for this. Basically it's a very simple proof of concept here. This network Droidica I created it's nothing. In fact, when it's off, you can see that I have tethering enabled on my droid uh, using wireless tether. It doesn't support master mode, so this isn't AP. This is just an ad hoc network. If you look in here, the SSID is Droidica. It's not hidden. There's no access control. There's no security. So we'll exit that. It's already started. If you look here in my in the search list, let's wait till it refreshes. Droidica does not appear. The only caveat to this method is that you have to add the network manually. So D-R-O-I-D-I-C-A. This can be easily remedied through a front end. Uh, but supplicant is really, WPA supplicant is really annoying when it comes to configuring a connection. If you don't have the SSID in the network configuration, it kills it immediately. So anyway, you can see Droidica is there. It says not in range, not detected. Okay. Um, now we go over here to my to a simple ADB show with root access and we do a quick IW config. You'll see here, once we do it, boom, obtaining IP address. Connected. Okay. You see here, let's go to access control. You can see who's can that there's one client connected and that is my entourage edge. Hit the internet. Let's see. Entourage. I've had to, let's just do something a little real funny. Pixel QI. Do a quick search. See the data on the droids going up. Page is loading. Click on the actual page. You see that the count's loading. Tethering is working pretty perfectly. Uh, that's about it. Very simple to do. I'll have that front end stuff up pretty soon, hopefully. Um, Anybody interested, drop some comments. Let me know. All right. Thanks for watching.